Yo everybody, Mobile Gamers Unite. So, a little bit of work in progress here. This is the level 65 uh, challenge that uh, I'm just trying to finish out of this because my party already got wiped. But Farik can survive forever because she can steal their buff. Um, so this is going to go until her buff runs out. So she is very important in this if you're trying to run this the way that I am without an Alwyn. Because as you can see, Farik can just hold everybody up. Um, and I'm just having her stand here. And my Farik's only at like 3500 power level. I mean, you can see her attack's only 390. So she's going to play a pretty key part in this. I know I can beat this level already because I got it down to two characters and I messed up. I took the wrong one out. And then it just becomes impossible to kill the other one. Unless you got a ton of fixed damage. And then it just went to turn 15. But I should have killed Olivier. Um, instead of their little healer. And I didn't do that. I killed the healer. Long story short. I know this team can do it. And I'm going to go through it real quick. We might be able to finish it off right now. If not we'll get it close. I'm sure of that. But this should hopefully help anybody out that doesn't have an Elwin to do this as long as you have Farik which everybody should have uh, this is this is very doable I know it's challenge rating 65 and that might be a little intimidating for some people but I'm running this there's two characters here that are like well three characters that are about at 5,000 power level Altamuller, Leon and Bernie everybody else is um, 4,000, 3,000, Lana's 2,000, so here we go, um, Bernie's going to buff, because we have to take out, uh, we have to take Leonhard out on turn one, uh, so everybody else just kind of posts up, I don't throw Basel's fusion power the first turn, I have him sit and wait, um, you'll see why later. So we got our faction power up. I try to throw a debuff on this guy with Alta Mueller. Might seem like a waste, but it's not because by the time you, you get back around, um, it'll be four turns when you're facing everybody else and you can have that, um, that flamethrower, dragon's breath, whatever it is, when he actually needs it. All right, one, two, three. And here we go. <clears throat> So, Elwyn is going to do a normal attack first, and then if we have to, uh, we will finish it up with Bash, or whatever it's called. The one that's a 1.4 multiplier. I try, I try not to use it if I don't have to, but it's looking like I will. This thing has a two-turn cooldown, I believe. Yeah, so we'll have it back by the time we need it because we're gonna need that to move Joshua um, it's kind of a pretty specific order in how you have to deal with Joshua you gotta you gotta do the old bait and switch so if you try to use freak to switch places with any, anybody other than Estelle here it just won't work so but you can drag Estelle down so let's see let's put our danger zone up where do we want everybody uh, Farik stays right there. Hold on a sec, guys. Okay. So Farik stays there, because she's going to be activated next turn. We want Joshua to move up one more time. So now it's all just about positioning people. Basel kind of has to hang around, because... Oh, there we go. Actually, Basel's going to throw his fusion power now, in anticipation for all the combat that's coming. And for Farik to have um, her fusion power the whole time she's up there. Because she's going to be doing a lot of work up there. So, we want Leon to kind of start coming in. And we want Alta Mueller as close up here as possible. And Bernie, you're going to have to get back, buddy. One, two, three. Okay. <clears throat> I will also point out that um, I gave Lana uh, Molnir 
just in case she has to try to take a debuff off of somebody, she can do a basic attack and have a 60% chance to get rid of a debuff. So, alright, so here's the action. We're going to move Freak up here. We're going to change positions. Alright, and this is where it's important. Um, instead of attacking, Freak's going to go up here. And that will distract their healer for a little bit. Um, and then I can fight both of those guys together because you pretty much have to kill the other two while they're standing next to the healer. Um, they have some sort of crazy buff that lets them do that. It's ridiculous. So, but it makes the skins that we're going to get from this all that much more worth it. And really only Estelle is probably going to be running those skins. Um, okay. You know, normally he's up here, so I kind of messed this up a little bit, but it's okay. Um, Basil, you can put this guy to sleep. And actually, no, he does need to hang around. Alright. Leon needs to get back here, because next turn he's going to be able to push Joshua this way and he's gonna push her towards Estelle. And while we're on the subject, we can start kind of weakening Joshua up a little bit and getting some stacks up on Altamuller. All right, and Bernie. Bernie is pretty important here, just in case you have to take buffs off. So Bernie can chill right here and we can wait for this uh, we can wait for this Amazon bitch to come down. Also, uh, it is kind of important to note, you don't want to take away too much of Joshua's health because you need him to survive one of Leon's attacks that push him. So, uh, here we go. The positioning on this is a little bit different and I'm improvising, so hopefully this works out. <laughs> but here's the first thing, Farik survives just barely. And then we have Farik use this ability because she steals uh, Klaus's buff and now Farik is going to be unkillable for like the next three or four turns. Alright, so what do we want to do here? First of all, we want to check Joshua, see what he's got going on. He can't receive buffs. If there's no allies within three blocks, then he cannot be killed. So we need to push him over and then we need to kill him, which is hard because does she have her guard up? Add damage taken decrease. Okay, so she's not going to be able to guard unless she's standing right next to him. So, since he doesn't uh, have Estelle's buff because he cannot receive buffs, I don't have to worry about debuffing him. So instead, actually, what I can do is I can attack Estelle and get rid of the buff on her. Start getting her ready for slaughter. So that's what I'm going to try to do. And again, guys, I'm free balling it at this point because this setup's already different than the last game that I had. Um, Joshua was up there instead of down here. So Alta Muller, he needs to get out of the way. What's the range on these guys? Oh, so Alta Muller can camp right next to her. Defense, swords above. Okay. So I guess this is what Altamuller needs to get out of the way so that Joshua can get bumped over here and he can somehow get killed. Oh man, I kind of wish. I usually, well you know what, I can use Bernie to finish him so it's okay. Because I, I don't know if we have act again or not. We're going to have to see. This one's sketchy boys and girls. <laughs> but it will give you a good idea of how I'm doing this because this is definitely possible. Alright. So we just need to push him over so that he's within three blocks of her. One, two, three. So if we just get him one block over. All right. Kind of wish we did more damage to him, but hey, what are you going to do? Um, one, two, three. Okay. Um, so I think Leon's safe there. Do you have act again? Oh, you do. Okay, so we can do this. All right, how do we want to do this? What's the smartest way? Um, if I act again on Altamuller, he might be able to go twice. 
so that's pretty cool so let's try to do that and I like using act again on Altamula because it helps him get his stacks up too so he can go down here and hopefully finish Joshua which I don't think will be a problem at this point he's only he's three blocks within somebody so he's dead and then um, let's just check her buffs again what do we do about Estelle here um, defense 20 immune to speed so Estelle is just like right for the picking right now um, I can have Basel just I'm not even gonna waste the fireball alright so she's done for and now this is the interesting part this is where <laughs> like so we gotta start checking the buff on Farik because we wanna make sure to keep Farik's buff up let's see um, all damage taken decreased by a hundred percent she's got that for three turns so now I'm going to start using Freak to start kind of coaxing people down here. Um, and what I want to do is somehow I got to take both of these two out. Um, both of these ranged attackers. Yeah, because Rennie and uh, Olive, Olivier, Oliver both have this terribly Un unbearable uh, buff if there are no allies within four blocks all damage taken is decreased by a hundred percent and um, I thought maybe I could use Basel to throw a bunch of sticky bombs on but these guys retaliate with range and their stats are off the chain 1560 attack so that's kinda hard to do um, so I guess the best thing we can do is just kinda distract them um, really wish I had better fixed damage on Freak, but I don't. So now we're going to kind of line everybody up, get everybody ready to kind of pounce. We need them to come down here so that I can somehow simultaneously take out Rennie and Olivier. So Farik's going to guide them down. Everybody else is just going to kind of line up. And of course I would get Gale right now when I don't need it. <laughs> that's just the way it works uh, I want Bernie up here and I'm not throwing fusion powers just yet because I know it's going to take a second for the stars to align and uh, for these guys to come down this is where it gets you know a little tricky you have Farik here okay cool she's Rennie's moving too so I need to somehow get them to chase me down and I also have to watch their threat range right because oh wait a minute how does that buff work again if there's no enemies within how many blocks four if there are no allies within four blocks all damage taken is decreased so just somebody just needs to be within four blocks so I could switch places with this guy one two three you know what let's try that and then he will be within four blocks See, last time, my mistake was saving Olivier for last. And wait, do these guys have a buff that I can steal from them? Um, man, that's tough. Uh, you know what? Whatever damage we can do, let's do it. Alright, so... He is taking normal damage. Matter of fact, he's taking 15% more damage. Okay, so I'm going to try to take Olivier out now. What can we do? Oh boy. Man. You know what? Let's just let's let's rush these fools. Let's rush these fools. I chose to do this instead of faction buff. So let's see. Um, then also, I'll try to get some sort of fixed damage going. It'll be 
careful not to move this guy. He's got to die right there. And of course, he has some kind of silent curse. They both do. They completely screw you. So now you got to kind of retreat, and we're going to regroup, or at least try to. It's looking like Rennie's probably going to finish off uh, Bernie. That's unfortunate. Everybody's silenced. And I can't do anything to to Rennie until she's within four blocks of her. So that's the next thing I gotta worry about. I gotta kinda try to retreat everybody and keep them all like ready to go. We will see if we can uh, if we can do the old swaparoo one more time and hopefully oh damn you Rennie Okay, well, there's good news. One, two, three. So, Rennie is within four blocks of her. I have to somehow, somehow take Rennie out right now. I wish I had that fusion bomb. <laughs> oh, but here's something cool I can do. Um, I can't reach her. I can't reach Rennie. But I can put you to sleep. And Rennie is within four blocks. So we're going to be able to do some sort of, some kind of damage. Um... And I couldn't use Bash because I don't want to move Runny back. It's killing me. Killing me, Smalls. Uh, there's still hope, boys and girls. There is still hope. Like, if we can get Gale to kick in right now, there's no act again. There's no act again button. Um, you know, why waste the attack? Because if Gale kicks in, I'll be able to... So I might as well do an attack here. Get a stack up. See if I can get any sort of Gale to proc, because that would just make... Oh, that just... This could potentially make our day, boys and girls. She's within four blocks. Come on, Alta Mueller, I need you. She's a mage, you can do the... Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, can we do 1,483 hit points to... No. No, no, we can't. No, we cannot. Oh, fix damage, please. Oh, this shit's getting crucial. This shit is getting crucial. It's close, boys and girls. It's close. This is what I've been working on all day. Okay, thank you, Farik. But now I can't kill her. I don't know what to do. Ah, uh, it looks like we're done for. One, two, three, four. Wait a second. Wait a minute. What? Wait a minute. Wait a minute, boys and girls. Can Leon survive this? Can she survive this onslaught and push her over there? Ooh. Wasn't quite ready. I had to hold steady. All right. Now, Alta Mueller, can we please get it right this time? Please. And then she's going to silence everybody again, I'm sure. Okay. So now, we just have the healer to deal with, Klaus, close. Um, boy oh boy. Um, close is, she doesn't have range, so. Uh, so we're going to try to kind of get out of her threat zone and see what we can do here. She's going to try to heal herself, that's terrible, I don't have anything to stop healing. So, what can we do? What can we do, boys and girls? We got two more turns. How many turns do we got to pull this off? Because we're silenced for two more turns, which means we have to somehow survive for two more turns. Alta Mueller, now would be a good time for your Gale ability to kick in. Catch up on some of that healing. Here's what we're going to do. We are going to salvage our Leon, if we can. Can we get can we get Leon some healing? Come on, Lana, Liana. Um. Okay. Uh. It's been two turns. All right, boys and girls, we're going to try to finish this bad boy up, and get our damn skins. I don't want to say anything. Before, I mean, we could st we we could still lose this somehow. I feel like we could still lose this. She doesn't have any buffs. 
Um, you know what? Matter of fact, let's actually give her some debuffs then. Um, Lana still is silenced. It's very unfortunate. Basil will prepare by faction buffing himself because he should make good sport of this bitch. Um, and you know what? Here. Let's throw a debuff on her. Whatever we can get. Attack? Sure. Hell, I'm happy with it. Um, you know what? We're not going to waste chivalry. So you're just going to sit there and wait till Lana can start healing you. And let's have Basil just kind of work this bitch down a little bit. She's working him down. Shit, that's what I'm worried about. Come on, Lana. Okay, we gotta act again. We're like back in business, boys and girls. Um, in fact, how about this? This should probably be the first thing that I do. Not act again. Let's just heal the hell out of everybody right off rip. She's at half health. I think, I think we can do this, boys and girls. I think we can do this. We even have sleep. Basil can even put her to sleep. So we're going in for the kill. Oh, cool. We just got rid of a debuff somehow. So Alta Mueller, go ahead. Oh, man, I was kind of hoping that... Uh, oh, you know what? <clears throat> Chivalry. I need to at least scrape her down as far as I can because she's going to try to heal... I know this conniving woman. She's gonna try to heal. Oh, we're so close, boys and girls. Can we get can we can we get some fixed damage to go off on her or something? Come on. Oh, she went for like she took a suicide swing at me. Okay. Well, all right. Um, I think this is it. I think we have just uh, finished this level 65 level without an Elwin. And this is how you can do it. Um, it's kind of a finicky level, but guys, I only have a couple characters here that are, you know, 5,000 power level. So don't get discouraged by the level 65 uh, label on this. This is doable. Just, I mean, it's taken me a few hours. I've ran this a few times, but those skins look awesome, and they're going to look amazing with Estelle. So if you don't have Elwyn, this is the way to go. Um... I hope this can help anybody. I know it's a little late in the game because we only got a few days left of this event, but uh, Mobile Gamers Unite, uh, I guess better late than never, right? You guys have a good day.